Good morning. It's Sunday morning. How are you all doing? I'm here and I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Oh my gosh. It has been, I don't know. I can't even describe what it's been for me the last 13 days, two months, whatever. We all have our stuff. You guys, my name is Lady MC. Thank you for being here. I hope if you're new to my channel that you'll consider staying. You might just want to check me out first, like listen to the whole video, like right to the very end and then say, yeah, you know what? She's okay. I think I'll subscribe. Thank you very much. A thumbs up is always appreciated. And of course, a comment. All my regular subscribers. Hi, guys. Thank you for being here. I know it's been like 13 days since I've done a, um, a video. I know it's not good for the algorithm, but you know what? It is what it is. Thanks for being here. For those of you that were able to get here, for those of you that come later, I'm just glad you show up whenever that is. So I appreciate it. We all have a life, so it's really hard to get to see everybody's videos. But thank you for being here. Okay, well, it's uh, like I say, it's been a crazy 13 days. There's a lot, a lot been going on with moi. And I will get to that at the end of the video. I'll share a little bit with you and where I'm going with all of that. Um, but today I want to do a tag. And oh, it's not that easy a tag. It really made me think. This tag is uh, originated with uh, Susan from Little Poet, who I've been watching. And I, yeah, the last time I did one of her tags, it blew up. So she's got some great questions that obviously a lot of people like to listen to, to see what the answers are. So I'm going to do it. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you'll certainly participate and put your comments in. This is a tag that Susan does apparently every year, every new year, like sort of reflect back on the last year. So that's always good for us to take a moment to think, of, think about life, right? Okay, so it's nine questions. And I did, of course, I wrote them down. My printer is broken and uh, couldn't, it's not broken. I just can't figure it out. So anyway, but I wanted to kind of write some answers down too and reflect because it's, it's, it's a little bit deep and I'm not sure how well I did on this, but I'm willing to share. Okay, rate 2021 on a scale of one to 10. Wow, well, you know what? I think I was very hopeful going into 2021 because 2020 or 2020 was so awful. Um, I think it was better. I think it was certainly better than the year before. Uh, on a one to 10, I'm going to give it a seven. It's always really hard to give a perfect, right? I'm going to give it a seven. Question number two. Favorite memory of 2021? Do you know, I don't really have anything that totally jumps out at me. Like, you know, a really great memory. I had lots of like little things that happened that were really exciting. And I have wonderful memories of that. Uh, one of them was, okay, my two youngest granddaughters they are four and one's going to be seven pretty soon they did their very very first a ballet performance yes people had to buy tickets and we got to go it was all done with you know all safety regulations in place and they were both just stars like i'm sorry they were like the superstars of the show and so that is a wonderful memory i'm gonna I just love it because my other granddaughter also does dance and voice. And so it was just so cool to see them both. And there was like no stage fright or anything. Like they were just totally into it. So two stars were born. Uh, what else was a really great memory? Well, <laughs> I had two really fun events that we went to. My daughter-in-law turned 40. I won't put a picture up and mention her name. I, she may not like that. She had her 40th birthday in 2021. And so that was really fun because we actually got 
to get together and have a bit of a party, like all following all the regulations. We, uh, we, we do the protocols, but that was really a great evening. And um, my son-in-law had turned 50. And so those were two big numbers. I'll switch any of you <laughs> for the num my number. Anyway, uh, my son-in-law is 50 and they had a wonderful uh, wonderful party as well, all following protocols before the really serious protocols came in. So that was really great. That was a wonderful My memory. Um, did you change, number three, did you change as a person in 2021 and how? 2021 was for me, for the first time in my life, I took pause. I paused. Instead of, I'm always on the move. I'm always. I, I have to look at it again. I started being more honest and real with myself. Not about anybody else, about me. So, yes, there's been many changes. And I, I got to do it in 2021 because everything just slowed down. You know, everything, there was time for a pause. Yes, I definitely did. My favorite video that I did in 2021 and why? Well, <laughs> okay, here we go again. 2021, my favorite video was, I'm gonna explain why. Um, true confessions. Sorry, guys. I'm looking. Somebody's packing their golf bag over there. I was just looking. Why are you golfing? The weather's really crummy. Anyway, none of my business. <laughs> okay. Sorry for the distraction. My favorite video. Okay. I'll tell you why my favorite video was the confessions of a mature woman. And I was not going to do this video, but my very good friend, Peaches Skincare, she said, Lee, you should do that tag. And I went, you know, I don't think any, because I always think people aren't interested in hearing like deep thoughts from a 71 year old or, you know, like I'm thinking you want to see things or, you know, visible. Like Anyway, she talked me into it and I did it. And I really enjoyed doing it. But the tag was Susan's from Little Poet. And Susan happened to see it. I don't know how she saw it. And Susan commented on something I said when I did her tag, but she commented on her channel and she called it her aha moment, an aha moment. And I was so thrilled. But what happened was the video, I mean, for me, for my channel, it like blew up. I got all these views. I mean, some of my videos have a lot of views on them, but they've been up for like three years or four years. This was like within a very short period of time. So that was really, really exciting. So I'm going to have to say that was my favorite video for heaven's sakes. All this like really good stuff happened on that video. So thank you, Susan, for mentioning that aha moment. Thank you. So yeah, so that definitely is my favorite video. Number five. Okay. Uh, one or two products that blew me away. Well, do you know what? I talk about this and I mention it often. And I think if you go back and look at my videos, I don't use makeup. I do use bronzer. And of course, I love my mascara. And I put a little bit of like matte eyeshadow, like white, just a skin color, uh, but I don't wear makeup. Maybe it's time I do it. No, I, I wouldn't do it. I, it's just not me, but I really up my skincare. And that again is from Lisa from Peaches uh, Skincare. My skin has gotten so much better and I am just so thrilled at how I am now taking care of my skin. Peach Skin Care was definitely a product. I've been using it for over a year now, and I have, like I say, I say, I've, I've noticed the difference. So there we go. 
Okay, number six. What creator on YouTube inspired you the most in 2021? Okay, so again, you guys are gonna say, really, is this tag? Yeah, well, this is Susan's tag, but you know what? It was Susan that inspired me the most this year. And she inspired me for last year. She inspired me the most because she really made me stop and look at myself. I looked at Susan and uh, Susan has had, you know, she, she does everything on her channel. She's like she's a lifestyle channel like I have, but she also talks about something very painful that happened to her and she talks about her journey. And it's, it's, it's just, it's been incredible. You know, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, I was kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to listen to this. Really, honestly. But you know what? It was so close to home that it was almost painful for me to listen to it. Not the same circumstance, but just the fact that she was so brave to talk about her journey, her pain, and how she grew and how she has turned over she's ready to start a new journey in her life a new part and and when i started watching her i'd make comments and i'd say you are so brave and that made me stop and think about how i was not very brave i um, that i've had trauma in my life that would be beneficial to share with other women because I don't think any of us walk away from this without something. What I'm getting for me, like I've put a lot, I've put, I've put that stuff behind me. You know, I'm strong, I'm vibrant, I'm 71 years old. I believe I've got a lot of things to look forward to, but you know what? I haven't healed. Yes, I haven't healed. So yes, I found that Susan has inspired me to heal myself because she was brave enough to do it. And if she can do it, I can do it. And if I can do it, you can do it. Because you know what? We need to hold each other. Okay. So that, Susan from Little Poet, that's the channel that inspired me the most for 2021. Not to, I don't want to hurt anybody because I mean, there's so many fabulous channels out there, but this, this is the one that just, it just touched me. All right. What is the funniest, meanest, strangest comment that you got? You know, and I think other women have said that. Like, I've had a couple, a couple of marriage proposals. Like, oh, I love you. I want to marry you. But that's about it. I can't say I've ever really had, I've never had any mean ones or nasty ones. I mean, sometimes I get comments and I go, what's that got to do with the price of rice? But yeah, no. I, I You know what? I have to say, no, everybody's actually been really kind. And, and there might have been the odd one that's a little bit off. But yeah we're on a public platform what do we expect <laughs> okay and what is your proudest accomplishment in 2021 hmm oh. susan this is hard um gosh you guys I think my proudest accomplishment was that I have finally got myself to a place that I can be, I need to be honest. I'm authentic. It's real, but then, you know, you hold so much in and I'm kind of feeling that if I'm going to be on a platform like this, I think I can share some of my stuff and help other women. And I, I'm feeling that sometimes the sooner we hear these things, like don't wait till you're 71 
to fix some of the things that I need to fix at this stage in my life, it's better you do it. The sooner you do it, the better. And so you can have that wonderful life that you deserve, by the way, that you do. So my greatest accomplishment is really looking within myself, being brave enough to do it. There we go. Being brave enough to do it. That's my biggest accomplishment. What is the one word you would use to describe yourself in 2021? Healing. That's the word. Healing. That'd be it. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to say, all right, what's this all about? Well, you know what? We all have stuff. I mean, that's why I think I probably have spent two weeks crying and being really sad and all. And, and you know what? It was like at the time I thought I was drowning, but it's all really good because all of those moments bring me to this moment. And that is, I've been brave and I have overcome so much, but I need to heal because of the things that were done to me and said. And then I, so anyway, so I phoned, so I mean, I was so down, you guys, I can't even tell you how bad it was. I phoned my doctor, and so we talked for a bit, and he was really good, and he wished he could have talked to me for an hour, but you know, that wasn't possible. So he says, okay, well, let's get started. You know, we need to get back and, and see somebody. And I didn't go for a counselor. I, I went, I got myself a really good psychologist and um, we won't be talking yet because it, it takes time to get in with somebody that's really, really good. The doctor re recommended this book and I have only read 29 pages and already I'm feeling, I'm feeling some relief. And you know, when you go through stuff in your life and you experience trauma, people always say, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Actually, what happened to you? Oh my gosh, this is huge. And I can't wait to finish reading this book. If you have experienced any kind of trauma, and actually, Oprah, this is written by Oprah Winfrey and Dr. Perry, who are incredible, and I'm also going to link their video down below. They did an interview on YouTube, and so listen to it, and then maybe that'll make you want to order this book. And it's a conversation on trauma, resilience, and healing. And so that is what I'm going to do now. I am going to heal because it wasn't my fault and I'm not to blame. I'm going to share my truth. I'm going to share my story. It's not about you. It's not about them. This is my story. And I am finally realized I am allowed to speak of my story. And if anything in the next what, however long it's going to take, because it's not going to, I'm not going to do every video that I do on this. I'm going to, you know, as I progress, I'm going to share it with you. Um, but there are more, there are so many women walking around like me that, you know what, we're strong, we're doing our thing. We've had wonderful things happen in our lives, but that pain is still there. And that pain still affects, for me personally, a lot of things that I do in my life. And have you ever noticed, I'm going to just throw that in there and then I'm going to go, people don't want to hear about your pain. Do not want to know that there's any pain. That's just too hard and it's too deep. With all of that, you guys, we're going to start another journey on YouTube besides everything else that I do. You guys, thank you very much. Susan, thank you for this tag. I did the best that I can do, but I so appreciate you putting this out there. And thank you for the being so brave on your channel that you've actually just peeled the 
skin off of this onion. Okay, guys. Thank you. Everything's down below. Bye.